Good morning. Dear friends, it is a joy for us to be together again. And before we begin our day's activities, let us give a few minutes to God and sit at his feet and listen to his voice. Today's meditation is titled When the task is bigger than you. This is based on Joshua chapter 1. The call of God often is to do something almost impossible for ordinary people to accomplish like us. God chose very ordinary people, ordinary and everyday people to do his ministry is a task bigger than us. What do we do? Suddenly Joshua found himself to be stepping into Moses' shoes. Uh not an ordinary task. 40 years before this Joshua chapter 1. Moses himself was faced with uh, such a situation. With such a situation when God appeared to him in Exodus chapter 3. on mount horeb this is the mount of god moses used all the excuses that he could think of or even imagine to escape the call of god to bring the people of israel out of egypt and uh, now after moses led them and brought them up to the borders of the promised land he died the call came to joshua who was moses servant joshua chapter 1 gives us the account of his call the call read after the death of moses the lord spoke to joshua the son of nun moses servant Moses my servant is dead. Now then, you and all these people get ready to cross the Jordan River into the land I am about to give to the Israelite. This is the call of God upon Joshua. While Joshua did not try to escape the call of God, you can imagine the fear and the burden he felt in his heart. He has seen the way the Israelites treated Moses. How many times the entire assembly was ready to stone him to death. The people were rebellious, selfish, disobedient, stiff-necked, and unkind to Moses. He saw the agony of Moses. the burden he felt the loneliness moses felt the people were the reason moses was forbidden to cross the borders and enter into the promised land though moses pleaded with god to let him cross over that was his dream but because of this people's rebellious attitude moses was angry and that stopped him from crossing the border he suffered rejection and felt unwanted now the mantle fell upon joshua his servant and uh, how did god strengthen the joshua and encourage him god gave five specifics a b c d e five specifics and i am mentioning these five specifics that god has given to joshua number 1 assure yourself that god is alive moses my servant is dead then god said now i am commissioning you and that means what god is still alive and is still on the throne that is number 1 and uh, joshua chapter 1 verse 2 
and number 2 believe that god is with you chapter 1 verse 5 and commit to yourself to courage chapter 1 verse 6 determine to follow the bible or the scriptures which which contains the commandments of the lord chapter 1 verse 8 and lastly and fifthly enter into action that is verse 10 of first chapter of joshua you consider these five element of faith let all these things be practiced by anyone who is called of god to do his task which is almost impossible for everyday people to accomplish like you and me but nothing is impossible with god and so god said if you follow these instructions and strictly obey you will find yourself enabled and strengthened to accomplish the task which is otherwise impossible let me mention it one more thing one more time assure yourself that god is alive god is not dead he is alive he is fully alive kings and emperors and presidents and prime ministers and leaders all may come but they all go but our god in heaven remains he is still on the throne and secondly believe that god is with you and when god calls you he is not going to leave you alone he will always be with you encouraging you strengthening you giving you further instructions you become only an instrument in god's hand the rest god accomplishes and then thirdly commit to yourself to courage the words that god speaks every time is do not be afraid be courageous i am with you why we can be courageous not because i am able for i am not able not because i am wise because i don't possess that godly wisdom unless i ask him so there is nothing in me that gives me the courage the only reason i can be courageous is to realize that god is with me and what is impossible with man is possible with god and all he needs is a donkey to speak to a prophet so he can use anyone and therefore he can use me and then Uh, determined to follow the scriptures the bible which contains the instructions of god for us to obey and then enter into action believe these truths and then get into action because i believe i go forth this is the reason we can accomplish great things that otherwise is impossible I close this with one illustration. Is he a king on the large rare diamond? So beautiful. One day it um, it sustained a deep scratch in that very precious diamond. And the king called in the finest diamond cutters from his kingdom. and uh, they all came and had a look at this diamond and the scratch but none felt they could do it because while repairing it they may destroy it so none came forward offering himself to do the task they were afraid of Uh, incurring the king's wrath if they failed that is another thing not only the diamond can be destroyed but then the wrath of the king 
coming after finally a gifted cutter offered himself to make the diamond more beautiful now listen carefully how he did it he set to work with the artistry and the skill he engraved a beautiful rose bud in the diamond using the scratch as the stem of the rose bud and he took it to the king the king was amazed and my friends this is what god can do with you if you are totally committed to his cause and the one good thing about god's call is he can call anybody but the enablement and the wisdom comes from him who calls you you remember when god instructed moses to build an ark uh, uh, build an and a, a, a tabernacle uh, a, 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 an, uh, with the ark of the covenant in it he said i have uh, given special wisdom and ability to so and so who can work on all kinds of metals and all kinds of wood and who can make the six when god gives you a task my friends you don't need to afraid be afraid because he also gives you the enablement enablement to do it that is why even to overcome sins and temptations he says the same grace that has appeared to you and saved you from sin and wrath of god will now abiding in you will enable you to say no to all ungodliness as well god has given you a new life to live and he also has given us the grace given you the grace to trust our god and go forth in the strength of god himself trusting that he will impart on you the special grace and the abilities that you need to accomplish the task for which god has called you whether to be a pastor or an evangelist or an apostle or a prophet or a, or a teacher whatever calling is upon you it is god who called you and the enablement comes from him trust him never say no if god is calling be courageous to say yes because it is not by might nor by power you will accomplish but by the spirit of god anything is possible remember this my friend as you begin your life today whether you are a minister of the gospel or a pastor or evangelist or teacher whatever god is with you listen to him every moment depend on the holy spirit and trust him to use you he will never fail and therefore you will never fail this is the wonderful day to live so have a great day today at the end of this day you will have reason to rejoice and be glad and go to bed knowing that god is with you through the night god bless you and be with you father in heaven bless your people that they may live a life that is well pleasing to you you may call some of us ordinary people without any special qualifications or talents or abilities but you have called us and every job you give us is almost impossible for people like us to do and you don't expect us to do in our own way in our strength or wisdom we just have to be obedient and to make ourselves available to you here are we oh lord thank you in jesus name amen god bless you and he loves you